welcome to Byron Bay. This little coastal town in New South Wales, Australia has everything you could ever want out of a travel destination. From the rainforests to the beaches, we're going to cover it all right here on this channel. So let's get to it. In last week's episode, we headed up to The Pass, one of the most famous surfing spots in Byron Bay. Then we looked up at the lighthouse at Tellos Beach before going on a three to four hour hike at Minion Falls. This week is going to be action packed, so let's get into it. I am a self-proclaimed beach freak. Yes, you heard that right. A freak. Not an enthusiast or a fanatic or a lover. Just a plain old good beach freak. That's me. So of course, I couldn't miss out on a sunrise sesh in Byron. My friend took me to Tallow's Beach around 6am one morning for a magical sunrise. We saw everything from albino crabs to a man on his bike with his dog riding on the handlebars. It was epic, to say the least. Honestly guys, the weather was pretty perfect this morning. So after watching the glorious golden sky turn all different shades, we decided it was time to feast. So we got in the car and got on our way. After that non-stop snackathon, I got myself into a bit of a situation. I needed to sleep off the snack attack. So, this beach really did pose the perfect opportunity to do just that. My friend happened to bring the Nimbin newspaper with her to the beach. For those of you who aren't from Australia and have no idea about what I'm talking about, Nimbin is a small town that's nestled in New South Wales and it's really well known for its cannabis culture. Anyways, you can imagine the kind of stories that you'd find in this paper. It covers practically everything from naked bicycle races all the way to locals' wild stories. The paper is hilarious and intriguing, and if you happen to stumble upon it, I definitely recommend picking up a copy. Guys, this Mexican restaurant in Byron Bay was honestly a 10 out of 10. The music, the colors, the ambiance, the flavors. Oh my God. Seriously, if you're looking for some good food, definitely squeeze this place into your itinerary. The next day, I had to do something very important. Goodbye, long nails. It's been a long time coming, but this one is injured as fuck. Let's go get it fixed. I know this sounds a little bit dramatic, but honestly, I felt so naked after getting my nails removed. I've had fake nails on for about a year, and to be completely honest, I was slightly contemplating my decision. Nevertheless, that mini situation couldn't stop the spirit of adventure. So we decided to head up to the Byron Bay Lighthouse. Okay, bush turkey central. Those bush turkeys seriously wanted to steal our snacks though. They are practically everywhere around Byron. So if you see one of these bad boys jolting its neck around, definitely protect your food at all costs. Just kidding, 
that makes them sound like they are monsters. They certainly aren't. They're super cute and fluffy and that's really all I have to say. And in case you were wondering, yes, I really did just ramble on about bush turkeys for one minute. You're welcome. Anyways, let's get back to those scenic shots. Technique, one step, one step, one step, one step. Nice, Eve, nice. Oh, oh, and that finish was really good. And now, one step, one step, one step. Literally, it's, there's no way you can do it. One, like it's there. After dolphin watching at the lighthouse, we decided to head down to Watergo's Beach. I have to be honest, I still don't know how to actually pronounce this name. Watergo's, Watergo's, Watergo's. Dios mío, no tengo ni puta idea. Anyways, let's get off the mispronunciation station and ride back in on the scenic train. Woo! Water dragon. Why is he just looking at us like that? He's frozen. He's trying to decide if he should run or not. Oh, bro, we know. can see you, buddy. We can see you. Oh my god. Do they make any noises? Whoa, he's max chilling. What a beautiful little dude. Oh, oh. Wow, look at those claws. Where does this guy even live? Oh my god. Wow, this guy needs a manicure ASAP. He needs to get his nails done ASAP. Wow, you're stunning, dude. You have like yellow and, and black and all little spikes as well. Oh, eye contact stare off. Oh, seriously though, do they live in trees or? He looks like a snake at the front and he's got the spikes and shit. I'm sorry for invading your personal space, but you're incredible. So the next day, we headed for Wian Wian Falls. Also, it could be pronounced Wayan Wayan, so don't at me in the comments below. The drive was just under an hour, and it was a super scenic route to get to the actual falls itself. These mushrooms look like shells. Wow, a cute little waterfall. That's so pretty. If you're planning a trip to Byron Bay and you want to go chasing waterfalls, definitely come and check out the Wian Wian State Conservation Area. It sits just in the north of Lismore and you'll find everything from cycling and hiking to horse riding trails. Of course, there's plenty of waterfalls and creeks for swimming and fishing and 
and doing whatever you please. That's going to be it for today's vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and all of those things. I'll see you guys in next week's vlog. Thank you.